that second bog log. I think it's that right. <laughs> I'm still getting over the shit from the first one. <coughs> I still have no voice. But this is this this is this is comfy. <laughs> Great. So <coughs> I welcome you to the second bog log. Um, and today I, I I wasn't too sure what I was going to do about this this next one because I was sat there and I was thinking I, I really don't know what I can do. So I had the one about the celebrities, of course. And now you see, this is the this is the, the problem when you come out to plan these shows. You just kind of you have to think on your feet and nothing. These are my feet, and big black shoes. These are my booties, by the way. The most comfy boots I've ever found in my life. And they were £10 in Manchester. And um, to those who went uh, last weekend, yeah, the Bangalore, yeah, uh, I do hope that you enjoyed Manchester Pride. I heard that it was a good weekend, and from some of the things that I've seen on YouTube, it actually is quite a good weekend. Go to the corner, in there. <coughs> this is what happens when you have no money. When you do get some money, and you go on a spontaneous, random night out that you don't even know why you're going on it, but you do, and then you end up in no money. No vice. That's very bad. So, second part of the blog, I can't believe it. Everything, what am I doing? <laughs> that, yeah, now I remember. Thank you for the time. Um, I was going to talk to you about something because um, a few nights ago, we, we have this thing in the house, right? When, when people come around on a Friday night, what we used to do is we used to have like music on and everyone would get up and have a dance and you know, go to sing along and be drunk. But well, now we've all, all sort of moved on a little, <coughs> moved on a little bit, and we now all sit around the kitchen table and we have music on in the background and the drinks we follow. And we just sit there and we we literally talk about everything in the society today. And we got onto the topic, and I'd be, I would actually be genuinely quite interested to know one where people stood on this. People, especially like my nan will say like, oh, you know, the youth of today. No, because they, they see on the news, this teenager's gone out and done this, and there's a paedophile, and he's done this, and they met over the Facebook, and all this sort of stuff. And I, I, did, I, did, I did turn around, I wasn't being snotty with her or anything, but I did turn around the other day. I was it to my mum? I can't remember who it was to. But someone said that, you know, it's because of the likes of Facebook and the internet and the, the sort of society that we've built up today based around the internet and the media and everything like that. And it's made society worse. And my, my objection was, right, a paedophile is going to look for kids in any way that they can. I'm sure that they don't fill out an application form and just take on and just search Facebook. Okay, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. You know, we need to, yeah, we need to get the people out of the society, but you know what I mean, right? If we didn't have Facebook, if we didn't have the internet, okay? You go back to years ago when your only form of dating was to, okay, not only, but main form, was to put an advert into the newspaper. But you still didn't know who you were actually ringing up and who you were going to be meeting with, who you had met that person, right? Okay, so that's kind of out of the equation there because you still didn't know. And then you go back even earlier, and you'd have to meet on a night out. But you still don't know who you are actually meeting until you know that person, okay? So, the way I feel at the moment, right? Yeah, we have problems in our society, and I'm only taking paedophiles as an example here, okay? I know that there are loads of other issues, and blah, 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 and my head is cabbaged. But, I don't think our society is being made worse because of the likes of uh, MySpace and Twitter and all things like that. I know that there are paedophiles and 
all this bad stuff happens and yes it does happen on websites and I'm not saying it doesn't I'm really really not but what I'm saying is these people if you went back 60 odd years in society before the internet really took off they're the same people it's the same society of people that we have 60 years ago right my man can still remember when you could leave your front door of your house wide open and you wouldn't have to worry about anything getting stolen she grew up in uh, liverpool um during times of when liverpool actually wasn't a scary place to be of a night she remembers uh, the likes of the old park ballroom which i'm actually really pleased to see is actually still going um she can remember when that shut at 11 o'clock at night and that was it that was liverpool town shut that that was it that was your night out at 11 o'clock you went home you went to bed that was it and now she moans because i, I sometimes don't roll in until like six or seven in the morning <coughs> and you know she's there getting out of bed and they're going to bed um but uh, my main thing is do you think our society is being made worse because of uh, like all these networking sites and videos that are put up on YouTube even things like that do you think it's changed our society do you think that paedophiles now have it too easy to get access to children one of, the, one of the other things that I was going to point out at this point I just want to say point again, but I don't know why. I'm going to have to fit it into a sentence, I'll say point. Um, was that I have this thing, right? <coughs> Everyone says about the youth of today, right? Do you not think a lot of these news stories are, are hyped up because they're on the news, right? 99% of the year, I really, really, really couldn't give a shit if I don't know the wheat wasn't growing properly in wherever I don't know where they grow wheat but 99% of the year I couldn't actually care and it comes on the news one day and everyone's like oh my god we need to go and buy bread we need to go and buy cereal because all these prices are going to go up oh my god shut up just oh people do that <laughs> so <laughs> that's my question for this blog blog and again thank you for joining me if this is your first time watching where were you for the first one i had more of a voice left for the first one and now i just have none not to have that thing. <laughs> so click subscribe click on like click on put the comments underneath people you didn't comment enough last time and i know it was you or you were like hundreds of people watching and didn't comment Thank <laughs> you.